This tutorial will teach you how to use our EBSCOhost databases. Although this video will show you how to use Communication and Mass Media Complete, as you can see, the eBook Collection, Hospitality and Tourism Complete, and Sport Discus with Full Text are nearly identical to it, so you can apply what you learn here to those databases as well. To access any specific database, start on the library homepage, and then click on the Library Electronic Resources link. Because you know what specific database you're going to use, click on the Library Databases A to Z link. These databases are listed alphabetically, so scroll down to Communication and Mass Media Complete. Because we're on campus, I will click on the College Wire Network link. If I were off campus, I would click on the Wireless Remote link. We'll start by entering our keywords into the search bars. My research question is, what is the effect of television advertising on elections in the United States? So I'm going to enter in television advertising, elections, and the United States. Remember that if you'd like to search two or more words together as a phrase, you should put quotation marks around them. If you need your articles immediately, then click on this full text button. If you don't need your articles immediately, then don't click on this. You'll be able to see results that we don't currently have access to, but can get you through interlibrary loan. If your teacher has asked for scholarly or peer-reviewed articles, then click on this scholarly or peer-reviewed journals button. This will search only through the peer-reviewed journals. On the left-hand side of your screen, the database will give you various ways to narrow your search. First, I always like to narrow my search by publication date. For this article, I would like to only have sources from the past 10 years, so I'm going to drag this marker until I see 2004. Now the resulting 83 results are current. Next, I like to limit by source type. To do this, you want to click the Show More button. Then, click the boxes next to the type of sources you'd like to read. I'm going to click Academic Journals and Magazines, and then Update. Now I have 22 results, which is much more manageable. You can continue to narrow your results with the rest of these options until you come to a more manageable number. Then, find an article that you find interesting and click on it. Here, you can read the abstract of the article to learn more about it. On the left-hand side of the screen, under Detailed Record, you'll see if we have this article in full text or not. Here, we have it in PDF full text, so I can click on this to access the PDF of the article. If this is an article you'd like to use, then you'll want to use EBSCOhost's tools to help you save and organize your research. First, you can always email yourself the article along with the citation. Click on this email button and then enter in your email address. Click on citation format and choose the one your teacher has requested from the drop down menu. Once you enter your email address, you can hit send. You can also print the article by clicking on the print button. Again, you can choose the citation format that your teacher has recommended. If you think you'll want more than one article, then instead of emailing or printing the article right away, simply add to folder. If you click on an article that this database doesn't have access to, instead of seeing PDF or HTML full text under the detailed record link, you'll see the WorldCat link resolver. Click on this. This will tell you if we have the article in another database. Here you can see we have the article. By clicking on that link, you'll have access to the full text of this article. If we do not have access to this article in another database, you will see this online resource not found message. We can get this article for you through interlibrary loan. For more help with interlibrary loan, ask one of the librarians or visit our interlibrary loan tutorial. Once you've looked through the articles and selected the ones you'd like to read, go to your folder on the top right hand side of the screen. This has kept all the research that you've been adding to your folder. The database won't save this research after you've left the page, so remember to do this before ending your session. Here, you can again email yourself the articles or print them, just as you could with the individual articles. Congratulations! You now know how to use EBSCOhost databases.